Carl, he was a huge collectioner of armories, tapestries, carpets, especially armories, as you notice. His collection, it was more than 4,000 pieces. Yeah, 4,000 pieces. What we have here, inventory more than 476. There are armories original. Yeah, this is a European collection. The room it was organized between 1903-1908 in Neo-German Renaissance style, of course. And on the walls we have Original armories from 15th, 16th century from Germany, Spain, and France, especially from Germany. Of course, the biggest piece of the entire collection, you notice it already, it's a horse and knight. That is Maximilian style, 16th century. It's unique in Romania. Original armory weighs more than 100 kilos. One of the single armories weighs around 20, 25. Yeah? The painted windows, we have in the castle more than 600 painted windows. 160 rooms, 32 baths. You see again, San John is killing a dragon there, but usually the painted windows are in stone. We are in the Armory Chamber. On the other hand, we have a fireplace here. I told you that the, the castle was built with central heating system. If you are visiting this castle in the winter, the heating system is still working. The owner of the castle, Princess Margareta, she's the daughter of St. Michael, the last one in Romania. She's coming here time to time. <laughs> yes, they're having lunch, dinner, the castle is closed. Yeah, but the heating system is working. Above the fireplace, there is an execution sword. 6.5 kilos, almost 7 kilos. Germany, 16th century. It's flat on top. It was used only for decapitation. Execution. Execution sword, original German sword. Carving bronze above. There is a battle from 1396, 14th century. Mircea the Elder, grandfather of Vlad the Impaler, is defeating the Ottoman army in Nicopolis. Nicopolis today is in Bulgaria. Now, we'll go to the, oh wait, above the chandelier, chandelier here, it's written Nihil Sine Deo in Latin. Nihil Sine Deo means nothing without God. It was the logo of Romanian coat of arms before 1918, before the unification. And then, behind me here, it's a bear, carved in wood. I told you about the bears. It's yeah, the bears yeah. here, they are everywhere, the symbol of power, and also a lion. And the lion also is a symbol of power. It is a symbol of the royal family. And I told you in the bus during Carol time, we have the first monetary system introduced. And guess what? Even now in our days, the Romanian currency, it's Leu. Leu means lion. Yeah? The Romanian currency, Lei. Leu is lion. Not so powerful now. Five lions, one euro. <laughs> the pie there, guys. It's still working.